Hello, my name is Thomas Lacey. I'm here with my teammate, Matthias, and we are doing a scorecard for growth for True Sound. First, we wanted to talk about the problem. You guys just started your business. The main things that we wanted to focus on are ways that you can grow, uh, your target customer, and then we also did a balanced scorecard framework to back up the information. So for those problems, the first uh, solutions we want to talk about is social media being the very first thing that you need to start doing because your business is online. Uh, you need to bring eyes and attention to the, your product, the speakers, because of how important that is, because then you won't have any customers if you have no attention and no social media presence whatsoever and just go off word of mouth. And then next, we want to talk about a possible AI integration as a way to diversify your product. And then also a cheaper alternative down the line, not now, but much further down the line. So to have a better understanding of your company and develop better results, we use the balanced scorecard method, which is a strategic planning and management system that help us to communicate what we need to accomplish to make this business grow. This method uh, focuses on four main perspectives, the financial perspective, the customer perspective, the internal or process focus, and the learning and growth perspective. Thomas will talk first about the financial perspective. As for the financial perspective, our main goals are gonna to be to succeed and survive the initial launch. Most companies do end up failing at the very beginning, and that's why we're gonna make sure that hopefully you are not one of the companies that do. You gave us the information that for 30 speakers, it would be just under $4,000. And if you break that down, it is approximately $125 per speaker. And with the uh, profit margin of 40 to 60% in the speaker industry, specifically high-end speakers, um, we're gonna suggest that the price should be around $200 per speaker. As for the internal perspective, our main goals are quality products with on-time delivery. Most uh, starting companies, when they are small, they have problems with shipping and then also shipping the product where it doesn't get damaged, specifically if it's a speaker or any kind of electronics. Companies do have problems with um, shipping the product and it end up from point A to point B, the same quality. And then next for the target customer, um, you did have a suggestion on what you thought your idea of target customer is, and we decided after research that it, that it is, we have a similar target customer that you thought of uh, professionals who enjoy modern aesthetic, ages 30 to 40, around middle age. And then next, we wanted to develop the brand's visual identity. Uh, this goes along with the social media, which we will also, we already talked about a little bit, but I'll talk about later in more detail. Now let's talk about the customer perspective of your company, which develops what you need to have in place to drive performance. As we know, the target market is middle-aged professionals who enjoy entertaining in their modern um, scale homes. Having this data in mind, guide us to our first objective, which is developing a strong brand identity. Why? Because it is scientifically proven that a good and consistent brand presentation increases revenue by up to 33%, and that 90% of customers are willing to pay more if they are purchasing for a brand they trust. So how can you start developing your brand identity? A good brand identity development includes the brand's logo, the colors to be used, the typography for advertising, and even the packaging of the product. As soon as you have this, you should start working on the social media development of your company. This is where your clients will see and create an idea of your brand in their heads. It is important to make sure that you are showing your clients what you want them to see about your company. Now let's move on to the learning and growth perspective. This part focuses on the development of human and information capital. So the goal for your company in this area is to invest in the latest audio technology and the implementation of third-party apps like Alexa, Google Home, or Siri. This graph demonstrates the use of voice assistant companies in our target market, which is middle-aged professionals. So it goes between 25 to 44 years old. As we can see, the true sound target market prefers Amazon Alexa over Google Assistant and Siri. 
This means that it's important to focus on the implementation of Alexa first over the other companies. And finally, as for the next steps, like I've gone over a bunch, social media presence is going to be a key in growing this business. And that's why we're going to want to focus on showing why they should buy the product and what's different about your product. And then next, a way to diversify the product, like Matias talked about, a possible AI integration. And if you, that AI integration is possible, such as an Alexa, then you're going to want to then increase the price because the uh, features on your speaker is obviously more, so you're going to want to charge more for it. And that wraps up our presentation. If you have any other questions, please let us know. And thank you. Mm -hmm.